that one is gross. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Gian, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna do another mukbang, but this time I'm gonna be eating dollar store food. Yes, everything here is one dollar. I have nine items here, so this cost me just nine bucks for nine different food. So I'm gonna show you everything I've got here and then after this I'm gonna cook everything according to the cooking directions. Some of them need to be microwaved and some of them um, need to be cooked in oven. So yeah, first one I got is the chicken pot pie. Come on, focus. I got veggie burger. One dollar. We have a dollar lasagna. Pepperoni pizza. Look at that. Mexican style chicken patties and panada. And then we have griddle cake, maple pancakes, and sausage. There we go. And we have ooh, bacon wrapped chopped chicken fillet. This one needs to cook in oven for 30 minutes. Then we have breaded butterfly shrimp. And for the dessert, I have sugar free parfait. Parfait, parfait. Yes, we have sugar free parfait for dessert. I don't know what flavor is this, it didn't show. It didn't say anything. Okay, so I will cook everything and then I will come back in a few minutes. I'm back and everything is all set everything is cooked so I have here on this plate bear with me I already tasted the pizza so I have here the chicken the bacon wrapped chicken fillet and then have the pizza pepperoni pizza and the maple bacon sausage here here I got the butterfly um, shrimp veggie burger and the empanada and I have the Chicken pot pie, the lasagna. So, and then my jelly thingy. So, I'm gonna start putting my hand in this. So, let's taste first the pizza. So as I mentioned earlier, I got all of these at the dollar store, so every single food in this table cost me one dollar. So these are dollar store food. Mm. The pizza is decent. The crust is crunchy. So this one, I baked this for 10-15 minutes. Mm. Yeah. You get what you paid for, so I'm not complaining. Like this bit, instead of like round pepperoni, they make the pepperoni into bits. So all of these bits right here are all pepperoni. is this maple sausage bacon so this is more this so this is more like for breakfast the pancake itself smells maple Taste maple, I taste the sausage. This one is nice because the pancake is fluffy and soft. And the sausage is tasty. So. 
Okay. I'm getting that. This lasagna, I just, uh, I just put Parmesan on top. This one is, it don't really look appetizing. Like I feel like it need more sauce. But for one dollar, Without the parmesan, this is not good. Like it tastes like watered down lasagna. That's how it tastes like. Watered down lasagna. I don't see any meat, there's like bits of. Oh, oh this is tomato. These are, these are, like, to, uh, these are like tomato, diced tomatoes. Here's my deflated chicken pot pie. I microwave it like some of the sauce spill overflow while I'm heating it in the microwave. Let's try this. Hmm. Yeah. Since some of the sauce overflow and spill, so there's not much sauce left inside. So, but there's, but there's like chunks of chicken. I'm not sure if it's a real chicken, but. There's green beans, uh, green peas and carrots. Let's taste the crust. It's okay, I mean, like I said, you get what you pay for. So far, I like this um, maple sausage. Um, breakfast bread. So this one is the uh, chicken, a uh, Jamaican style chicken empanada. It looks like Cheetos, like it's really like bright orange, almost like the cheese, the cheese, cheese it or Cheetos. I like the crunch, but it's kind of messy to eat because of all the flakes that are falling. There's not much feeling inside, so it looks like, I don't know, mm, it's spicy. It is spicy. Not a really big fan of Indian food, so I mean, like, it it tastes like uh, it tastes like um, Asian food store here. Like when you enter the, like when you like when you enter into an Asian food grocery here, it smells like curry. It smells like Asian spices. That's how it's it tastes like. 
it's really spicy. Mm. I don't really like that one. Super dry and salty and good. The taste is a uh, veggie burger. That one is gross. The texture, it's mushy. The texture is like, imagine if you soak a bunch of paper in the water and then you scoop it out. Like that mushy texture of a paper, that's how, it, that's the texture of this. And then the taste, kind of tastes like bugs. Kind of tastes like bugs and band aid, like betadine, something like that. I mean, it's bad and it's spicy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a picky eater, so. If I hate something, that means it's really bad. And that is beyond bad. It is. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. This is what I'm most excited about. The butterfly shrimp. You can tell that, well, that's, that's a decent, decent amount of decent size of shrimp. But I think that the breading is like 70% of the actual size of the shrimp. Like, let's dissect it. So if you dissect it, like the size of the shrimp, and they even butterfly the shrimp. So it kind of look big because they butterfly it, but if you fold it, so that's the actual size of the shrimp. Well, again, I'm not complaining. I'm just showing you guys how it looks like. Oh, anyways, if you haven't been watched, my first mukbang where I eat chicken feet I will put the link up here or in the comment down below or, or in the description down below so if you haven't watched that one go check it out mm. I don't have a tartar sauce but I have a ranch here so I'm gonna try the ranch shrimp is good just too much bread mm. so this one is the chopped chicken fillet wrapped in bacon not even wrapped in bacon because the bacon only goes on top like at the bottom there's no bacon so I don't know why they call it bacon wrap when well, the bacon only sits on top This one took me 30 minutes to cook. So this one, I can't assure you guys if this is a real chicken or... Because just by the look of it, I don't think it's like a whole chicken breast where they shape it into circle or maybe they ground the chicken and put some extender on it. Taste chicken. It's kind of spongy. Tastes like chicken and sausage. Not too salty. It's soft and spongy. I 
and even the bacon itself, it's not, it don't have a strong bacon flavor, right? Yeah, the bacon is not that salty. Like it almost don't have a taste in it. So. But again, you get what you pay for. It's a dollar, so what would you expect? So, so far, my most favorite one is this one. And then the pizza I like. The shrimp I like. Mm, this one is like, I don't know. But the rest, the lasagna, chicken pot pie, empanada, this veggie burger there. So it's almost fall. Like I think the end of summer is this coming September 22nd. So it's the fall is just around the corner. Like some trees uh, has like some trees have their leaves already falling. The leaves already turning into yellow. So yeah and. The sun goes down. Um, much earlier than usual, and uh, oh, sorry. and some mornings are kind of chilly. I'm not sure if I want to finish this as much as I want, but I can eat this, I can eat this, I can eat this, I can eat this. And I will finish the shrimp. And this. And this. Before I forget the dessert. So I know now. This one is orange. I can tell it's orange because it smells like orange. Like uh, it smell, it smells like it actually smells like orange creamsicle. Like it's orangey and it's sweet and it's like creamy. Yeah, it smells like orange creamsicle. That's how it smells like. So from the outside, it looks like it has more like that um, cream, orange cream in it. But when you dig in it, it's like more jelly in, uh, inside. It's not bad. It tastes like orange cream still. That's how it tastes like. But it's kind of dry. But the taste is decent. That's how much gel did you get for a dollar. I think this video is too long already. Obviously, I'm not gonna finish everything. I just want to see you guys and let you know how a dollar store food tastes like. Is it worth the dollar? Uh, some of them are some are not like even if it's just a dollar if you can't eat it then I don't think it's worth the dollar especially with these two these are the worst yeah I would rather buy chips than to buy this because uh, I can't eat but the rest yeah they are worth the dollar I mean the taste is decent and don't expect too much for a dollar because a dollar is a dollar and nowadays what you get what you will get with a dollar right so that's my review so that's my review like mm, taste test with all this dollar store food and I hope you 
and I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do please give this a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please please subscribe to my channel and let me know what's your thought about this and what else you want me to do in my next video definitely appreciate any suggestions any suggestions that you guys have in mind and just let me know and see you guys on the next one bye bye Ooh, I can't